Hello friends, good morning to all of you. I am Chitij Batham and in today's lecture we are going to study motion in a straight line part 5. This is chapter number 3 of physics NCRT for class 11th. Okay. And before we start I would like to request one and all to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to receive the future notifications. So we will start with relative velocity. So what is relative velocity? So relative velocity is the time rate of change of relative position of one object with respect to another. So what does it mean? Okay, suppose a traveler is moving in a moving train. Okay, and another train is passing by the side of that train. Train is moving in the same direction. Okay, so in case train is moving with the same speed as the other train is moving. So that train will appear to be at rest with respect to first train. Second train will appear to be at rest with respect to first train. Okay, and to an outsider who is standing on the ground outside the train, both the trains will appear to be in motion. So relative velocity is always with respect to some frame of reference. So in different frame of reference there will be different relative velocity. So when we are talking about motion there is relative position of one object is changing with respect to another object. Okay, the objects may be moving in the same direction and objects may be moving in, in different direction and they may be moving with the same speed or they may be moving with moving with different speed. Okay, so we will discuss these cases one by one. Okay, so we will discuss mathematical derivation for relative velocity. Okay, suppose there are two bodies, body A and body B and their initial position at time t is equal to 0 are given by xa0 and xb0. Okay, so their position at time t will be given by xa t is equal to xa0 plus vat and xb t at time t the position of body B will be given by xb0 plus vvt. So as we know that displacement from object A to B, how will you calculate it? It will be given by xb minus xb0 minus xa0 plus vv minus vat okay so this is the displacement of, of, of displacement from object a to b okay so there comes the concept of relative velocity so suppose two bodies are there a and b so there will be one velocity of the body b with respect to a and there will be velocity of body a with respect to b Okay, so velocity of the body B with respect to A will be given by VB minus VA and velocity of body A with respect to V is given by VA minus VV. This is relative velocity. So now we will explain the same thing using graphs. Okay, so there are two broad cases. One case when objects are moving in the same direction and second case when objects are moving in different direction. So first and second case are this graph and this graph are the cases when objects are moving in the same direction and this is the case when objects are moving in different direction okay so now when objects are moving in the same direction there can be another two, two cases objects are moving with the same speed or objects are moving with varying speed so when they are moving in the same direction with the same speed what will happen so both objects with respect to the other object will appear at rest and position time graph will be pair of parallel lines pair of parallel lines as we know that body a body a is moving and body b is moving so bo both are moving with the same speed so and they are moving in the same direction in this case we are taking both of them as upward sloping curve we are taking both as upward sloping curve okay and since their velocity is same so the slope will be same when slope will be same they will make equal angle with the positive x axis that is time axis okay so in this case the position time graph will be set of parallel lines okay now come to second case both are moving in the same direction 
but with different speeds in this case a is the faster faster object and b is the slower object why is the faster object slope is more a is steeper than b slope of a is more than slope of b so a is going to cross v after some time so they will intersect at some point this is the point of crossing this is point of crossing a will cross b after some time this is called point of crossing okay and after that a will a will leave behind b this is objects moving in the same direction with varying speed okay in this case faster object will appear slower to slower moving object but to a stationary observer on the ground it will appear faster more faster than it than it is to another slower object okay now in third case when objects are moving in different direction so one curve will be upward sloping curve another curve will be downward sloping curve and where they will intersect that will be called as point of contact that will be point of contact okay so upward sloping curve in one direction downward sloping curve in another direction and both the objects will appear to be faster to each other than they are okay so now same thing we are explaining again so when both objects are moving in the same direction with the same speed so their relative velocity with respect to other object will be equal to zero okay and both are moving in the same direction with varying speed with va greater than bb and v va is equal to minus vab so so velocity of body a with respect to v will be equal to negative of velocity of body a body b with respect to body a body b with respect to a is negative to velocity of a with respect to v this is second graph third graph we have already told both are moving in different direction so in this case v v a and v a b will appear higher than the magnitude of v v v a and v v both the object will be appear moving faster to one another this is the this is again the three cases okay so now relative velocity be told two bodies are moving in the same direction with same speed two bodies are moving in the same direction with varying speed and when two bodies are moving in opposite direction okay so we will discuss we will summarize both are moving in the same direction with same speed both will appear to be at rest and position time curve will be set up two parallel lines inclined inclined to time axis or x axis and when two bodies are moving in the same direction with varying speed so there will be two upward sloping curves or downward sloping curve both will be either upward or both will be downwards and both will be intersecting each other at a point of contact one curve will be more steeper than the other curve okay now third is when two bodies are moving in opposite direction so one curve will be upward sloping curve in this case and one curve will be downward sloping curve and they will intersect each other at a point of contact they will intersect each other at a point of contact in in first case relative velocity of body b with respect to body a and relative velocity of body a with respect to body b will be zero in second case relative velocity of body a with respect to body b is equal to negative of relative velocity of body b with respect to body a in this case also it will be vab is equal to minus v va okay so these are all the concepts of relative velocity thank you for watching me see you soon Thank you